Whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay the money, you'll make this stop. You'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. Pay the money. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Oh, the old you would have had this place ship shape in a day. Oh, don't start this nonsense. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Oh, I know this stupid game all too well. So see, you're back to lazing about again. Well, ain't that charming. You think that trip into town's your work done for the month? Oh, do you think you're so perfect? Hi, John. All you did was drink a bottle of whiskey. No use bothering with you when you're like this. Oh, yeah. I've got an idea, Pearson. Make something edible. I should have known I'd be next. Feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. 
He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Of course, sir. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. <sighs> Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Let's go, boy. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're going to go get them? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about market. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. What are you waiting for? How you been, friend? Please, there is no need for this. What have folk done to rally you up like this? That's all, then? Good. To hell with this. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen. Buddy, you're a charming fellow, one of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Yeah, found my friend. You know where we went? Sorry, I don't know. Lenny? You know which way my friend went? Sorry. Ha, ha, ha.
Why ain't you never married? your mouth, mister. for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either of you around here no more. You know when you have one of those days? Howdy, partner. <laughs> 